Hi, I'm Laurice. Have you ever tried journaling and been like, why is this so great? I, I don't get it. Same. I tried it. I didn't like it. Didn't make my life better. Didn't help my mental health. I was done. And then 2020 happened. And I thought, hmm, I might want to give this journaling thing another go. But before I did, I decided to come up with a new plan. I threw out all my preconceived ideas and notions about journaling and I started fresh. And I came up with a five step plan. And to my happy surprise, it worked. And now journaling's become an important part of my life and had a really positive effect on my mental health. So in this video, I'm gonna share my five step plan with you. Let's get started. Step one, go buy a cheap paper notebook. Doesn't matter what kind. I highly recommend these old school marble composition books. If you prefer a spiral notebook, that's cool too. What you don't want is anything fancy and expensive. It's gonna feel way too precious and we don't want precious. In this instance, we want basic and cheap. Step two, don't be tempted by all those digital apps out there for your phone and your computer. This needs to be a 100% analog endeavor. There's been a lot of studies about how your brain actually works differently when you're writing things down. Your thought process actually slows. And that's a good thing. I know you're thinking, my handwriting's crap. I don't wanna look at my own handwriting. Good, you don't have to. You never have to reread this. And I get it, I can't read my own handwriting either. It's terrible. So it's almost like the worse your handwriting is, the better, because you're not even tempted to reread it because you can't. So all good. So 100% analog, pen to paper, no digital apps. Step three, find your tiny spark of rage. Think about the last 24 hours of your life. Think about the one thing that bothered you, that's upsetting you, that you can't get out of your head. It could be something small, like you spilled coffee on your shirt. It could be something bigger, a fight you had with a friend, a bad interaction with a coworker. Whatever it is, take that one thing. Hold on a sec. Hi, so you have no tiny spark of rage? All right, I have three things to say about that. One, you're very lucky. Two, I'm low-key jealous. Three, you need to stop watching this video and go find one about gratitude journaling. Now, where were we? Tiny spark of rage. You found that one thing that's bothering you, that's thrown your day off. Write that down. Write down everything about it. Doesn't matter if it's three sentences or a four page rant. Write down everything you need to. Once you've written down everything you need to about that one thing, stop. Now here's where the magic happens. And I don't know how it works. By the next day, you're going to wake up and feel differently about whatever it is you wrote about. Try it. You'll be surprised. Step four, set no goals. Don't tell yourself you're going to get up every day and journal at seven o'clock. Don't tell yourself you're going to journal every day for a month. Don't set goals. The minute you do that, the pure act of journaling is going to feel like a chore. Chores are difficult and chores are not fun. So especially when you're starting out, no goals. So I know you're thinking, if I have no goals for this, when do I do it? I get it. You're going to let your tiny spark of rage be your guide. That tiny spark is going to set your journaling schedule. When you feel it, that's when you're gonna journal. Maybe it's once a day, maybe it's once a week, maybe it's once a month, but that tiny spark of rage is going to be your guide. Step five. Don't use prompts. If you Google journaling or look it up on YouTube, you're gonna see a million journaling prompts. All those prompts are from other people, other people's ideas. You don't need those. Everything you have is right here in your own head. 
if you're using someone else's prompts, those things are taking you out of your own head, out of your own ideas, and away from your own spontaneity. So you don't need other people's prompts. You have everything you need. And that's the five step plan. Let's recap. Step one, buy a cheap paper notebook. Step two, don't use digital apps. Step three, find your tiny spark of rage. Step four, don't set goals. And step five, don't use prompts from other people. I hope you found at least one of these ideas helpful in some way. And now go forth and journal. In the meantime, stay well. I'll see you soon. Bye.